Well, alrighty then. I'm doing a voiceover because earlier today, number one, I don't like putting music to uh, my flight videos. I think it's stupid, it's lame, it's weak, it's gay, it's just not professional, and it's annoying, especially when the music sucks. So, I have to do a voiceover because I had three separate um, soundtracks for this one video because I have a new iPhone 10 which I'm still trying to figure out how to use because certain little things that you take for granted are simple are not simple. You have to learn, read, learn how to do things. So one of the issues that I was having was synchronization with videos. I would have been, I was using my iPhone to synchronize video along with the video of the flight, but there's a discrepancy in the frame rates of the iPhone um, and it just comes down to timing and it, I can like perfectly time, perfectly sync uh, one, a video from takeoff, but the I, I phone uses less space. So the, for some reason, I don't know why exactly, but the videos come out, they go out of sync. They'll be like one or two seconds shorter, which makes a huge difference when you're watching a video because you're seeing the thing land and then you hear it and then with the secondary video that you're using as a you know a secondary display the thing lands two seconds later and it just looks stupid so what I did here was this is a, a Lecce mission flight I took off and what I did was programmed it to go to, I, I, to a pizza place. I work at a pizza place down the road here. I deliver pizzas on the weekends. So I was going to fly around the pizza place and come back. But I didn't realize when I took off that my battery level was low. It was at like 68%. So up here, you'll see me. I, I boarded it and brought the, the drone back right there. And I figured I'd just redo the flight. So, it's on its way back. I put it into sport mode, which is uh, high speed. It's, uh, you can see the thing was doing 40 miles an hour right there. Um, the general default that I use on missions is 20 miles an hour. And I'm always concerned about wind. So I had a tailwind on the way back, and it, it, it zipped right back. But going out there, not so much. It was uh, working. So what I did here was I landed it, and I swapped the battery out, put a fresh one in. Apparently, I did not um, charge the battery the last time I used it, which was, I don't know, seems kind of sketchy because I thought I did. So, I'm just going to land it. This is a church about a half mile from my house. That's me with the black car coming down. Beautiful downtown Skodak. When I do edit the videos with the audio, I do like you know being able to hear the drone, like the you know the sounds of the motors. But I really don't like setting music to these things. It's just so stupid. Right, I think it landed. It's landing. It should cut. There we go. Fit the picnic table. Here we go again. I'm going to go back on the same mission. Um, nothing spectacular. It's going to rise to 250 feet. And the actual mission itself is that the pizza place, Papino's, it's called, 
is a little bit better than a mile away from where I was. It came out to be like a two and a half mile flight. And it's actually, if you think about it, that's a that's a good distance. And I, you know, because I'm up on a hill, I got good radio contact. I got on the very outside of losing contact at the uh, return point, but. Pretty much flying a straight line out there. Kind of a long trip, but wasn't risky. And I know the area good, so if I got in trouble, I know places that I could land and easily retrieve the drone, you know, as long as it doesn't fucking go in the water. And well, my trouble, this type of trouble when on mission would be that if you get a low battery and you hit a headwind and you can't come back, um, that means you have to be really cautious. You know, you need to think about finding a place to land if you get down to about 20% and you don't think you're going to be able to get back. But you want to land in a place that you know where it is but nobody else does. Because you don't want somebody, oh, look what I found. I found a drone. Oh, good. You don't want that. I got a free drone. Just fell out of the sky. <laughs> yep. You did. So I'm cruising down Route 9, heading towards Valacia, which is south. And that white building coming up, it's a, it's a bar, restaurant called Samson's. Yeah, it's pretty boring. That's a self sword center right there. There's lots of trees out in Skodak. It was a nice sunny day, a little windy, not too bad. Now upcoming here, on the right side of the street, that's a church. I don't know too much about it, because I think the last time I was in a church, I was about five years old. Oh no, when I got married, yeah. And then a lightning storm started when I walked in, so. So Pepino's is across the street from that church with the solar panels. It's a, you know, little hole in the wall, peach place. But it's right there where that white van is. And that black car, that's actually the owner, that's Nico, he's just pulling in. So I, was, I sent the drone to turn here. He probably was coming back from a delivery. So I kind of spun over. I kind of wish that I had a little bit better angle when I turned, but there it is. Yeah, the black car, that's Nico. He probably just was uh, coming back from a delivery. That's fucked up. And then the front door is like over. And then you can see where the dumpster is. And then, like at nighttime, when you got to, when you close up and you got to throw trash out, it's like walking all the way across the parking lot. And it's pitch black. You can't see shit. That's the only thing I don't like about delivering out here 
is at night when the sun goes down, you can't see anything. There's no street lights. I, I have a flashlight in my car, and I gotta like put spotlights on houses and mailboxes to see numbers at dark. So now I'm just coming back. Nothing to see here, just flying over the trees. Here I was actually, it was still on autopilot. And I'm like, I don't want to just look at the freaking trees. It's like, this is, because sometimes you, you have to like pay a lot of attention to adjust the pitch of the camera and uh, change the angle where, you know, where the view is. So this is just like auto programmed. I, I didn't really bother. You know, thinking about it when I when I plan the route, so it's just looking at trees. So uh, in about a minute, I took control over, and then I could steer the camera. Because when you're on autopilot, you just have to do it with the program wants you to do. You can't change the camera angle. You can't do anything. You just have to follow the route. So I'm on my way back. I know exactly where I am, and I know exactly how to get back. So I take control in a minute. But otherwise, yeah. Oh, well, great picture, fucking tree. And sports mode has a boost to it. It, um, with a, with a tailwind like I have right here, you can see how fast it's going. It's going a lot faster. It'll do 40 miles an hour. And uh, I'm just really screaming because there is a tailwind and it's pushing me forward. It's almost going as fast as the cars on the road there. They're doing 55, 60 and I'm doing 40. If I really wanted to, I could probably keep up with a car if I stayed on it. Because they got to stop at red lights. And there's Dunkin' Donuts, that's the distribution center, where they make all that shitty food. All them trucks, are, uh, they make the donuts in that building. And then you go, they drop them off in 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, then you guys buy them in the morning. I don't, their food sucks. I like the donuts, but I don't like the shit sandwiches. Yeah, I'm just like wasting time now. I got like a lot of battery left. <laughs> Cruising around. Still going pretty fast. It's 250 feet. Which isn't too high, really, for these things. But the lower you are to the ground and the faster you go, the cooler it looks. And uh, fast is cool. That's where I lost my drone. I'm still looking for it. Right there. Went down, it crashed right there. <laughs> it's a big area. <laughs> It doesn't look that big when you go over it, but trust me. And I think it landed in the creek, so I don't know if I'll ever see it again. That's west. That's direction to the Hudson River. So I'm heading west right now into the sunset. And I think I'm gonna land it here. It's kind of a long flex. I use two batteries, but oh yeah, I forgot what I actually did was I ascended to an extreme altitude, which I won't mention because it's illegal.
But I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Okay, so right now I'm not in control of the drone. It's actually being controlled by Donald Trump through a smartphone connected to his Twitter feed in Washington. And he is flying the drone right now, not me. So I yeah, don't know what he's doing, but he's going up to a high altitude and looking around. Bastard. It's really cool, though. See the horizon. Kind of like early spring sky. Cars look like little ants. So it's time to come down. Yeah, right now it's facing east, so if you go on that road, you stay straight and get right to Boston. Boston. Massachusetts, home of the New England, the Boston Patriots. Both those roads go east. That's I-90. No, that's uh, Route 9. I-90 is above it. There it is. Actually, back there, that's the golf course where you see the, like, patchy spot of trees. And you could actually see Gould Orchards before. Now it's spinning the other way. I'm trying to get a good panel. It takes a long time to descend from that altitude. It takes like four, three, four minutes. Doing my precision landing on the picnic table. There's my drone case. <laughs> it's 
It's not as easy as it looks. That's it. We're out.